Hey everybody, welcome back. You know what we're doing? We're taking all of this and we're going to turn it into all of this. Let's get started with the slow cooker. All right, welcome back everybody. I'm Dave Guerra, U.S. Army veteran, 11 Bravo, this vet cooks. And what are we cooking today? Slow cooker, no peak chicken. All right, so here's all the ingredients. Here's what we need. We need two to three boneless skinless chicken breast. One cup of instant minute rice, a half, well, a whole can of cream of mushroom soup, a whole can of cream of chicken soup, one, um, one soup can filled with water, uh, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and one packet of onion soup. All right, so let's get to mixing. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to mix all of this. And in mixing all of this, well, it's going to take a little bit of time. So you know what? Let's go ahead and use this time to go ahead and do the picks right let's make the picks happen all right so here we go nfl week eight but you know as always before we go back in time we got to well before we go forward we got to go back in time so last week i went uh, week seven six and seven yikes that puts me at 55 and 51 for the season all right let's get started with thursday night uh the buccaneers take on the bills i'm hand i'm giving this one to the bills let's, let's hope they prove me right this time all righty sunday the Texans take on the Panthers, giving it to the Texans. All right, the next game, the Rams taking on the Cowboys after their, no, yeah, after their time off and uh, giving this one to the Rams. All right, next one is the Saints uh, visiting the Colts. And I'm going to give this one to the Colts. Oh, I forgot about that. Vikings Packers. There we go. Giving it to the Packers. They're at home. All right, now we get to the Saints versus the Colts. And yes, uh, giving it to the Saints on that one. Okay, the next game, the next game is New England taking on the Patriots, taking on the Dolphins. And I'm going to give this one to the Dolphins. They're at home. All right, the battle, the battle for the Meadowlands is the Jets taking on the Giants, giving this one to the Jets. The next game is the uh, Jag Jaguars taking on the Steelers. I really got to slow down. So it's the Jaguars. I'm giving it to the Jags. All righty. Then we have the uh, Falcons. Uh, visiting the Titans, giving this one to the Falcons. No, the Titans, sorry. Giving it to the Titans. Sorry about that. Can't read my own writing. Anyway, the next game is the Eagles taking on the Commanders and uh, giving this one to Washington. They're at home. All righty. Next is the Browns taking on the Seahawks. And the Seahawks are at home also, um, giving it to the, to the Birds, the Seabirds. All right, the next game is the Ravens and the Cardinals. Again, the Battle of the Birds. Um, Quote the Raven Nevermore because the Cardinals are going to take the W there. There, There's your Halloween thing right there. All righty, the Chiefs. The Chiefs take on the Broncos. And I'm you know, surprised what the Broncos did last week. But you know what? The Chiefs will still get a W out of this one. And let's see. The Bengals take on the 49ers, giving this one to the 49ers. And let's see. The Bears. The Bears travel to take on the Chargers, giving this one to the Chargers. And the Monday night game, Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Detroit Lions, giving this one to the Raiders. And yes, there are no buys this week. Everybody's playing. That's why it went so, so long. Alrighty. So it went so long, but we're not done yet. We still got a couple more things to add. I just add mix in the, uh, the soups. There's the can of water. So got to mix it all together. Make sure it's all nice and it all sits just right. And uh, let's see uh, what's next. Oh, yes. Then we're going to get the black pepper and get that in there. And that's that quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Now you can add more to taste. That's strictly up to you. Alrighty, so we'll get that in here. If we can ever open this container, I gladly will go ahead and put in the quarter teaspoon of of uh, black pepper. And there it is. Alright, so after that, we're gonna we got the garlic. Oh, it's over there right in front of the instant long grain long grain rice. There it is. The garlic powder, we're putting that in there again, also a quarter teaspoon. And what follows next is, uh, well, we're not going to do the soup, but we are going to do the one cup of rice. And the closest thing, the quickest thing I could grab was a quarter cup, a quarter cup, uh, not a quarter cup, a third cup measure. So guess what I have to do? I have to do this three times. That's right. So we'll finish topping off this first third, third of a cup. There we go. We'll get that dumped in there. And then through the miracle of modern technology, here comes number two. Boom. Look at that. And number three, equaling out one third times three is one cup. There we go. It's three over three and three over three is one. There's your math lesson for the day. I mean, it happens. You know, you need math in cooking fractions. All right. So we're going to give this a good stirry stir. And then we're going to take it over. There's that new crock pot. Check it out. And again, spraying it with the uh, 
with that uh, non-stick cooking spray. And then we're going to place about half of the rice mixture in the bowl of the crock pot. So we're going to put in about half of it. All right, so we're going to create this layer. We're going to do a half. Then we're going to, well, let's finish pouring this in there. There we go. And then we're going to pour in, come on, the three pieces of chicken. Okay, so there we go. Three pieces. Technically, it was two and a half pieces. That middle piece is just kind of... Mm -hmm. But uh, there that is. Alrighty. There we go. And then we're going to top it off with the rest of the rice mixture up there. So there we go. So that's it. We're going to cover that up. And we get everything out of it. Scrape every last drop out of that bowl because it really smells great up close. And then when it starts cooking, it gets even better. So you definitely want as much as possible. Alrighty. So there we go. And we'll put that in there. Now, mind you, I only used one cup of that instant minute rice. It's it's going to soak up moisture, folks. It's going to soak up moisture. So you might want to consider maybe a cup and a or a cup and a half of the uh, of water just to increase the moisture level. Okay, now here comes that onion soup packet, and we're going to sprinkle that all across the top. Now, don't worry about the clumps of spices if that's just the way it comes out. I mean, you can mash them down if you want to, but it's going to it's going to mix. It'll mix. It's going to get in there everywhere. It's going to be very good. All right, so there's all of that. All right, so what's next? Well, you know what's next. It's time to set the crock pot. Look at that. The front end looks nice. There's our lights, and we set it to low. I don't know why this thing doesn't like focusing so well, but it does. And then we set the timer for six hours. And, of course, we do it in 30-minute increments. I guess that's just the way it's set. So there it is for six hours. It's already on. It, 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 the moment you activate it, it's on. So you, you can see that. There it is again. And now we're going to cover it. And now I'll get, all we got to do is wait, uh, you know, for time. And in this case, six hours later. And Hey, look, there it is. Magic. Six hours later. And look at that. All right, here we go. We're going to take up and open up the lid. Pop that. There it is up. Don't worry about that on the rim. On the edge because that's just the spices it's the spices you see the clumps of spices you can mix it up now if you want to it's strictly up to you um, and again it's one of those lessons learned kind of thing but you see it here so don't repeat it so break it down if you want to break down the the clumps of, of spice if that's what happens alrighty so now let's take a look inside let's go look into look, the rice there's the meat the chicken it looks nice from my vantage point it the pink is gone there is no it's the cook the rice is cooked so at this point i'm just going to go ahead and as i get everything ready i'm going to go ahead and turn off the uh, timer and go hit to the warm button all right so here it is again so i covered it back up there's the rice everything looks great tasty smells great folks the whole afternoon again the house is smelling awesome all right hey look it's a temptations plate it's not a bowl we're using a plate this time it's one of the small plates and uh, there it is, little rice, little chicken in there. It looks really good. And see, it doesn't stick. Remember, we sprayed it, so got to take care of that. And in, in the washing, that rim did come right off because again, it's just spice dried up. Alrighty, so uh, let's uh, let's get this ready. Let's give this a tasty taste, and then we'll go from there. All right, look at that. Looks great. Yep, look at that, delicious. All right, let's get a fork and uh, let's give it a tasty state, a tasty taste now. There it is. That's an official term. It's a, it's a real term. There's the rice. Again, looks great. Moist. The rice is done. It tastes fantastic. That's very good. All right, let's get some chicken in here. And again, the chicken, very moist, very tender. It pulls apart. So you, if you want to just mix it up with everything else, you can shred that chicken real good. And uh, there that is. Alrighty. Well, again, there it is. It's that slow cooker, no peak chicken. So as you cook it, don't peak until it's done. Listen, I'm Dave Guerra. You have my picks and uh, this vet cooks.